double leg takedown per se. The double leg takedown technically is from here, knee steps in between, both knee line, I lock tight, and I get the takedown. It's the, the double leg takedown is one, two, three. The problem is, we're starting off like this. Okay, so he's ready for me. The problem is getting from here to here, okay? This is the hardest part of takedowns, getting in. If you look at the best takedown artists in the world, they're the Russians. They win the Olympics every single year. They crush us. Despite us having a way bigger culture of wrestling than they do, they're a little tiny area, right, with wrestling, and we're a giant area. And yet, they beat the crap out of us every year in the Olympics. Why? Because they focus on the actual technique, where we focus on the actual shooting and the hardest part. If, if I just take you beginners and make you just work on shoots, this is the hardest part, right? It's gonna take you years to develop this. What they do first in Russia, which is different than the American wrestlers, is they start you off not by teaching you a takedown from here and trying to get in and get it. That's like trying to show you a flying arm lock, okay, at the advanced level. In Russia, they start the first day of wrestling class here. And the first thing that they do is just lock here and use body momentum back and forth and hit. So that's what we're gonna do, guys. We're gonna break it down to a fundamental. Because what this does is this makes you focus on the actual technique of the takedown. The hard part we focus on later, and that part comes later, okay, as you develop the shoots. But the most important part is the technique. So we're gonna start off here, and we're just gonna rock back and forth, guys, because this is the one part about wrestling that you need to know in the beginning. How to use your weight and your body momentum. If I just go here and I grab, there's no momentum. But when I hit, okay, now look, how I push. That's what you need to do. You need to use your momentum. Now, how I do it exactly is one knee is back and I rock and this knee goes right in between the feet and hits with the shoulder. Now I add the lock part, see? And I learn how to use my body momentum, okay? And I'm focusing on the bare bones technique part of it. Now, once I'm here and I lock, I just step one, two, and push for the double leg. Well, let's just work on that rocking back and forth and locking. Ready? <laughs> 